हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज संगीता एंड यू वाचिंग माय चैनल माय इंग्लिश मैगजीन टुडे आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू अबाउट द डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट रूल व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई डिस्कस देम ओके आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू things are slightly things are slightly more complicated with the imperatives positive imperative tell plus infinitive shut up he told me to shut up negative imperative don't do that again he tell not tell plus not infinitive he told me not to do it again imperative as a request please give me some money he asked me to give him some money now time and place references time and place references uh, often have to to change now change into then today that day here there this that this week that week tomorrow the following day the next day the day after next week the following week the next week the week after yesterday the previous day the day before week the previous week now i explain to you yeah last week the previous week the week before ago previously before two week ago two weeks previously two weeks before tonight denied last day last sunday the previous saturday the saturday before next saturday the following saturday the next saturday the saturday after the saturday example i went i went to the theater last night he said he had gone to the theater the night before i having a party next weekend he said he was having a party the next weekend i'm staying here and next week he said he was staying there until the following week i came over from london three years ago he said he had come over from london three years before when verbs don't follow the rules the the verb tenses do not follow do not always follow the rules shows above for example if the reporting verb is in the present tense there is no change in the reported sentence also a sentence in direct speech in person uh, direct speech in present or future tense can remain the same if what is said is still true or relevant for example you have invited someone for dinner at your home and the phone rings it's them they say on the phone i'm sorry but i think i'm going to be a bit late as a lot before a lot of traffic that was just he said he 
things. He is going to be late because there's a, a lot of traffic. Another example. A friend says to you, Maria, I will. She's got chicken pox. You say to someone else, Laura said that Maria, she's got chicken pox. However, the following day you see Maria at the beach. You are surprised and say to her, Laura said that you were ill. She said you had chicken pox. Laura said that you were ill. She said you had chicken pox. This has to change to the past because it, it isn't true. Isn't true. Maria Obedius isn't ill. Direct sentence in past tense do not always change. Either because the change might after the meaning or just make it sound confusing. For example, a friend is telling you about the horrible weather. It started raining heavily when I left work. This is where, where things get confusing. He said it had started raining heavily. When he left work is wrong because it means it was already raining when left work, he said, it started raining heavily when he left work is the best version because it is accurate, short and there is no confusion because of the time context. Generally speaking, the past simple, the past simple and the continuous do not always Need to be changed if there's is a time, there is a time context which makes everything clear, and or there is another action already using the past perfect which might after the meaning. Direct, my friend said, I am an early riser. Indirect, my friend said that he is an early, uh, early riser. Direct, father said, man is the only animal that cooks his food. Indirect, father said that man is the only animal that cook says food. Direct. The teacher said honesty is the best policy. Indirect. The teacher said that honesty is the best policy. Direct. The teacher said the earth moves around the sun. Indirect. The teacher said that the earth moves around the sun. Direct. The teacher said the earth moves around the sun. Indirect. The teacher said that the earth moves around the sun. The past indefinite tense or the past continuous tense is not changed. If the reported speech states two actions which took place at the same time. Example. Direct Saira said, Direct Saira said, When Ram was reading, when Ram was reading, Sham was writing. Indirect Saira said that when Ram was 
reading Shyam was writing. The simple past is a not changed if the reported speech states a past historical event or fact. Direct. The teacher said Akbar died in 16,000. Sixteen hundred five eighty. In fact, the teacher said that Akbar died in sixteen thousand five eighty. Vocative and nominative of address are omitted altogether, and their sense is expressed. In the sentence. Example. Direct. That's, the speaker said. Gentlemen. I tell you. What is going there. The speaker said. Gentlemen. I will tell you. What is going there. Indirect. The speaker told his audience thus presently that he would tell them what was going there. Direct, he said, I hope, friends, you will support me. Indirect, he said that he hoped that would support him. Past tense, subjunctive after, would like, would rather, etc. Do not change. Example, direct he said, I would rather she direct he said, I were rich, I would settle in Mumbai. Indirect, he said that if he were rich, he would settle in Mumbai. Simple past or past continuous tense in time clauses do not normally change. The main verb may either remain unchanged or may become the past perfect as example. Okay guys, this is the direct indirect. Now, I explain more about the direct and indirect. What is that and uh, another grammar portion in my English magazine. This is the name of my magazine, uh, which is based on, which is based, which based on uh, English grammar with uh, very helpful for all students who wants to gain the knowledge about the English grammar and who wants to speak English and who wants to write English. So this is very helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Ngita Mehta and you're watching my channel, My English Magazine. Thank you. Thank you very much.